I don't travel a lot, my experience has been I just kind of pick up everything and relocate to brand new places I've never even visited before. And what I've loved about this choice of mine is um, it's allowed me to have like immersion experiences with what I define as new cultures. Let me tell you about growing up in uh, the Hudson Valley of New York. So where I'm from, we are 90 miles north up the Hudson River from Manhattan. And it's this area of extraordinary cultural contention because when you're from the Hudson Valley, we identify as downstate. Uh, anything Albany and above is considered upstate. And we don't associate with those guys. But when you're from Westchester County and below and down in the city, Long Island, whatever, uh, Hudson Valley is considered upstate. And we're some honky motherfuckers to them. That's not the case. Uh, <laughs> however, we carry very strong opinions about our culture. Um, and uh, as I've discovered in my journeys, when you are a New Yorker and you try to live other places other than New York, you will never fit in. It doesn't matter how long you spend someplace or how much you attempt to acclimate to your surroundings. You will never fit in. New Yorkers only fit in in New York, and even there, we are at each other's throats, and that's just how we live. Okay, so coming to California, um, where I'm from, the rentals are extraordinarily high, and also, the slumlords are pretty fucking high, too. Crazy high, as in they're delusional. Um, and what I've noticed about California, as I've gotten to finally see people's houses and uh, get to know <laughs> the locals who grew up in this area, um, and where I am, I'm, I'm considered Southern California, but it's the high desert, so, like, we're not... We're influenced by LA and all that, but pretty much the same way that uh, New York City influenced my area of New York. You know, it's, it's about two hours away, and you get a lot of through traffic on their way to wherever they think they're going. That's not us, um, but yeah. So I've been getting to know houses in this area. The architecture here blows my freaking mind. Um, it's just very. I don't even know how to describe it. And maybe it's just the area of New York that I'm from. Yeah, we're a really old area. Most of our architecture begun when the colonists came over from England in the freaking 1600s. And, you know, we've got the industrial cities along the river that are from the 1800s. And just everything in between. So just a lot of old school New England architecture. I thought this was the norm across the country. Uh, I didn't start realizing that it was not until I started living other places. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Here I am thinking that I am the only place that matters on the planet. And turns out I'm not. But it's taught me a lot. So I get to these rentals in California. And uh, rental prices are pretty much kind of where they're falling in New York as well. Um, actually... No, like, you can get a beautiful three-bedroom, two-bathroom house for, you know, $2,000 a month. But here's the thing. Okay, so, so, you see me doing dishes here? All right, here's the thing. You rent a house here, it comes with a dishwasher, the dishwasher works. Like, what the hell? Who gets to rent a house for exorbitant amounts of money and actually have working appliances? Like, dude, that is not, that is not something that we get where I'm from. And um, and to, to get anything working on a rental, no matter how much money you're paying, you gotta freaking argue with that landlord, take him to court, and even then you're not getting what you want. You're just usually giving up because you run out of money or you run out of patience or you run out of time off from work so you can deal with this bullshit. And you're just like, well, this is the way life is. So here I am, <laughs> staying in a house with a working dishwasher, and it doesn't even occur to me that this dishwasher is functional. So I don't use it. And um, and yesterday I'm thinking about this, and I'm like, why was that like, why was that part of my train of thought? What happened there? And I figured it out, and I'm like, holy shit. Now there is 
a culture dynamic that you truly cannot explain to anyone on the outside and have them be like, oh yeah, I totally get it. But the people where I'm from in Kingston, Newburgh, Poughkeepsie, shout out, uh, you totally fucking get it, don't you guys? Anyways, I just needed to tell that story because to me, it was hilarious.